Good morning, church. Pastor John O'Hoosin here again. And are you ready? Are you ready, church, to be discipled by the loving Word of God? We continue in our series uh, on trusting God through the challenges and the trials of life. And I want to let you know that God loves you, that God cares for you, and that God has a plan for your life. And, uh, and so today I want to talk a little bit about just that trust, that, that trust in God. And perhaps challenge us as to what are you placing your trust in. And we'll see how this, how this short devotion goes. We may, we may do two, and if we do, so be it. But don't you want to turn to Psalm 20, and we'll be reading verse 7, and then we'll turn to the book of John, verse 16. Psalm 20 and verse 7. Right, let's pray. Are you ready? Are you ready, church? Let's pray. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Father God, we thank you, Lord, that we can come to you and that we can seek your will, your knowledge. And Father, that we can understand that we need to place our trust in you. Father, reveal, Holy Spirit, reveal to us the areas in our lives that we perhaps are not placing our trust in you. Father, in these times of great trial and, and challenge and uncertainty, may we realize that there is one that we need to trust. And that is you, Father God. May we realize, Lord, that there is one that we need to trust. And that is you, Father God. Father, we pray that as we break bread now, that there would be a challenge placed through your spirit. Thank you for the technology that we can utilize. And we trust you. We pray for your anointing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Right, church, Psalm 20 and verse 7 reads as follows. Some trust in chariots and some in horses but we will remember the name of the Lord our God let me repeat that that verse for us shall I? some trust in BMWs some trust in Mercedes-Benz but we will remember the name of the Lord, our God. Now, yes, I know I've just changed that a little bit, just try to contemporize it, but, but that's sort of the thought pattern. And we just pray that God would really bless the reading of His Word. Now, church, in trusting God, the greatest challenge is that, is that sort of hiding in us, uh, lurking within us, is this, is this persistent tendency to trust in what? To trust in other things. Except in God. We've got to be honest. We, we all encounter a myriad of, of, of challenges and burdens in our lives. And sometimes, and I think we will all understand this, Sometimes these, these problems, these challenges, these, this uncertainty seems and it feels overwhelming. You know, challenges like unemployment. In this pandemic, challenges like financial pressure. Challenges like depression. Challenges like the loss of a loved one. Challenges like the loss of a loved one. So many people have faced those challenges. Challenges like perhaps a difficult decision. Maybe maybe you've got this feeling of of failure. Maybe in this time of, of lockdown, the, you've, there's, there's been this creation of, you realize that your marriage is in trouble. 
Maybe you've got this this extraordinary work project, and you're well aware that you've that you've you're blessed to have a job, but this project just seems to be overwhelming. And we can go on and on and on. Maybe there's a loved one who's battling COVID and you've just heard last night that they've been transferred to ICU. In the book of John, Jesus taught us that we would, we would face tribulations in this world. John 16.33 It reads as follows These things I've spoken to you Jesus speaking here That in me you may have peace In the world you will have tribulation But be of good cheer I, that's Jesus, have overcome the world But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And so, church, I'm going to stop right now. It's a short devotional. We're going to continue with John 16:33 in our next series, and we'll we'll finish up with just trusting God in these circumstances. Let's pray, Father. We do pray that we'll realize that that Jesus has overcome the world. Let me pray this in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. God bless you, church. Let this challenge just rest in you. And let's, we'll ask ourselves some questions tomorrow. Can God use this? And we're looking forward to breaking bread tomorrow.